good morning, welcome to Film My Run. It's an absolutely beautiful day, although it is cold. I'm on a 21 kilometer slow training run up onto the hills, and I thought we'd talk about 5k times today. So around about eight months ago, I started reading a lot about 80-20 running. If you don't know about 80-20 running, go and read a book by Matt Fitzgerald called 80-20 Running, or go and watch any videos on YouTube by Stephen Seeler. And uh, that taught me to slow down, to uh, do 80% of my runs at a slow pace. So in December 2020, I managed to do my first sub three hour marathon. I've been trying for 10 years to get anywhere close to that. And uh, I made it in December. But prior to that, in October 2020, I managed to break my 5K PB. Now most of my 5Ks have been done during park run which is kind of a 5k event here in the UK which is free every Saturday morning but because of the uh, worldwide pandemic I did my very first actual 5k official race in October and I managed to get my PB down from 1857 to 1831 so transitioning to 80-20 running has really helped improve my times all the way across the board. The other thing I really like doing is running on Zwift. And uh, that's easy runs, training workouts and races as well. And I like to compare outside running with indoor running because I feel like they should be the same. You're going 5K on the treadmill in half an hour, you should do 5K outside in half an hour with the same heart rate, essentially the same level of effort. So I like to compare the two. So I thought what we'd do today, looking at 5K efforts, is have a look at this spreadsheet that I've done comparing my fastest four 5k times. So the four fastest 5k times that I've done. And it just so happens that two of those times have been on the treadmill and two of those times have been outdoors. So I now feel pretty stupid wearing sunglasses on what has suddenly turned into a cloudy day. It was bright sunshine when I left the house and now I can't see hardly any blue sky. Oh well. So looking at this spreadsheet, uh, the first thing to say is all the times are taken from training peaks which is the main software I use for analysing my data. And I don't know what's happened with my run in the Olympic Park, which was my previous PB of 18 minutes 31. It seems to have decided that 5K was actually 18 minutes 15 seconds, which is the same as my new PB around about. Whether that's something to do with the stride foot pod and its measurement of distance that day, I don't know. So we've just started running on the South Downs Way now. I appreciate it's very windy. We're heading up towards Chanctonbury Ring. Over there on the left is Sisbury Ring. And farther in the distance there on the right is Devil's Dyke. Three Iron Age hill forts here on the South Downs Way in Sussex. Right, I've turned my cap around so now I look even more awesome cool, but I'm refusing to take my sunglasses off 
they are protecting my eyes from watering in the wind so that's one good thing so back to this spreadsheet you'll notice all the runs were done in 2020 or 2021 so two runs in October 2020 one treadmill one outdoors one run outdoors in December and then the one I did this week in April 2021 you can see my fastest run is a treadmill run 18 minutes 12 seconds for 5k then the next run is my previous PB which was at the Olympic Park in London and uh, the official time was 18 minutes 31 ish something like that and uh, for some reason like I said it's, it's rounded it to 18.15 for, for 5k so maybe the distance was slightly over 5k and then my other outdoor one this week 18.15 my official time on the results is 18.16 and then another treadmill run around about 18.30 11 kilometres into the run now we've just turned around I've done all the climbing now well most of it heading back down Chanctonbury is just over there with the trees behind me I'm heading towards Sisbury we'll go over the top of Sisbury and then down back into Worthing so looking at the spreadsheet the really interesting thing to note first off is average heart rate indoors and outdoors my average heart rate for all those four runs is exactly the same within a beat 165 166 beats per minute average heart rate so that immediately tells me that my effort level in general is pretty much the same for all of those runs indoors or outdoors they're the same which is great but then it's also interesting to look at the max heart rate and you'll notice that for some reason on the treadmill I am able to get a higher maximum heart rate which is actually opposite to what I would expect I thought my max heart rate would be higher outdoors but for the two fastest outdoor runs my max heart rate is about 174 there whereas my max heart rate indoors is around 178 hi buddy Hello. I'm putting more effort in on the treadmill than I am outdoors maybe that's just because I can ramp the treadmill up to max speed which is about 20 kilometers an hour and outdoors I don't seem to quite be able to get to 20 kilometers an hour maybe 19 kilometers an hour I can get to uh, but maybe outdoors I can't do that so moving over to the next column you'll notice another difference and this is the same for me for every indoor and outdoor run I do whether it's fast or slow my cadence is always faster outdoors than indoors so obviously I'm letting the treadmill do a lot of the work indoors I've got a longer stride length and therefore a lower cadence things I try not to force a different style of running on the treadmill it's just the way it naturally happens so I'm not going to deliberately alter my cadence on the treadmill to match up with my outdoor running I'm just going to run as naturally as I feel indoors and outdoors so up there on the right is Sisbury Ring and we're now heading back down into Worthing which you can see in the distance ahead of us there 
and uh, it looks like it might still be sunny out to sea. So the last thing to mention on the spreadsheet is power. Power comes from me wearing the stride foot pod and uh, you'll find that when you run on a treadmill your power is always lower for whatever reason whether that's something to do with the stride algorithm not being able to measure power correctly on the treadmill or whether it's something to do with the the flat smooth uh, surface of a treadmill is different to the undulating uh, surface of a road or a trail or whatever so you'll get higher power numbers outdoors than you will indoors so it's not really comparable and also different courses and different terrain will give you different power numbers as well even if your heart rate and everything else tells you you're doing the same level of effort but there we are that's power for you uh, it's a bit of a weird one power is definitely something i look at but i think in all the years i've been wearing a power meter i've never really bought into the idea fully there are some things it helps with some things it doesn't really some things it's downright uh, wrong at or inconsistent at or confusing so um, I'm, I'm still happy really in general to stick to heart rate and pace as uh, indicators of how hard I'm working so we'll finish off today's video with a little bit of footage of uh, my 5k PB from this last Monday, Bank Holiday Monday, where I ran at Arding Light at an event called PB 5K, organized by Runbase Events. So this is me at that event where we actually had snow, believe it or not. It's actually snowing here. It is snowing at Arding Light. There's loads of people here. We've had the men's race, men's elite race. We've had the women's elite race. We've had the junior race. So uh, there's race three now to go. And then it's me in race four. So I'm just going to get changed now. I've been doing live streaming for the event, uh, which hasn't gone well, to be fair, because there's been terrible internet and copyrighted music infringement. <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, we are now uh, going to get changed and ready for race four, which is my event. So, in October last year, I got a time of 18.31. That was a PB, um, and I hadn't broken my PB in years. And so, um, apart from on the treadmill. And so today, I came in in 18.17, so 14 seconds faster uh, here at uh, Ardingly. So, it's all good. It's all good. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again on Film My Run for another marathon, ultra, 5K even. Next time, take care. Bye-bye.